Hi, Garden Rebels. Yowza, my fingers are frozen, but I am excited. Why? It's because I believe a chain reaction has occurred. Chain reaction? Yeah, that's when one thing causes another thing, right? This is, I say, a garden chain reaction. Garden selfie. So I had a fellow garden rebel come in the other day and she was in a bit of a hurry. She was going to a party and she wanted to pick up something for her grandma who was a natural gardener. Let's just call her, say, Mike. Well, I showed Mike some plants. Maybe she would like something like this Maranta or this really cool Peperomia. This one's called Fireworks. You can take something simple like this fern tricolor and dress it up. Put in this little crochet terrarium. Maybe something unusual or different. This is a type of frog. A tiny hanging basket. Grandma would love this. Now while she was shopping and I was showing her things, I noticed something happening that happens to all of us when we're shopping for, some, for somebody else. We start to notice a few things that we would like ourselves. But in Mike's own words, she said, I'm a total non-gardener. Now we were here in the houseplant section and from my experience over the years, the number one reason a houseplant fails is because of a lack of water. We're just not very consistent. It happens to hanging baskets too. But I didn't show Mike any ways to make watering easier. Instead, I showed her plants that could survive periods of drought and neglect instead. And of course, Mike called her sister and took her recommendation for a tough plant. And they decided an Azamio oculus xamifolia, a ZZ plant. It looks like this. It's a great choice too. So Mike finds a lovely gift for her grandma and a ZZ plant for herself and a pot to plant her ZZ pot in. And she comes up to the registers to check out. Would you like to check out? Uh, yeah, okay. Are you supposed to be Mike? I'm a poor substitute. And this isn't a ZZ plant either. She bought the last one. But Mike brought over this pot. And with this pot, she started the chain reaction. What is this? This, you ask? This is just half of the pot. She forgot the other half, which incidentally was the answer to her problem. She solved her own dilemma. And what it is, is that this gets filled with water and these ties right here wick up the water for the house plant, for her ZZ plant that she'll plant directly in there. It'll keep this area nice and moist and she won't have to water, worry about when to worry. It's just a quick check to see if there's water in the pot. We had two styles, by the way. This one's marble, and this one is called cork. 
turns out that those little ties that Mike inadvertently brought to us made us think of other water reservoir pots, including our own baskets. And because we're nerdy and geeky, we wanted to find out again and do some tests to make sure that we have the absolute best possible way to have a water reservoir and a mechanism for plants to take up that extra water. This pot right here says water reserve. And so we did a test on it. And this test made us think of an idea that we actually could be better on our baskets. Here it's wet, wicking it up. You can see the difference between dry and wet. And now nearly almost all of the soil is and you see, that's how this Revel community really works. It's sharing one idea and starting another idea and causing all of this chain reaction so that we all become better gardeners. Of course, on our passion baskets, the only basket with a three gallon water reservoir, it will take a few years of testing. We want to make sure to get it absolutely right. Anyways, thank you, Mike, for the wonderful chain reaction of ideas. Let me know how your ZZ plant goes. And guys, always live your passion. I can't wait for the future.